Hey guys, what's up? It's Delicia, and I am chilling here in beautiful Nicaragua, enjoying some downtime on this hammock with an ocean view and perfect temperature. I'm getting ready to light up this Havana blend. This is one of the new releases from Gurkha, and we've actually been smoking quite a few of these on this trip. This is a nice little box press beauty made here in Nicaragua. This was blended by Juan Lopez, the VP of Gurkha and um, has a nice wrapper, a um, lot of veinage on it. You can see a little bit harsher on the, on the um, aesthetics of it. This is a San Andres, Mexican San Andres wrapper, which are some of the characteristics of that particular wrapper. As you well know, if you watch any of my other videos, it's one of my favorite wrappers. And this one has a combination of some different fillers in it, again, all made in Nicaragua. So all that being said, going to go ahead and get this Cut up. There's a nice earthy element to it without lighting it up. Using my fancy big lighter here. This cigar, by the way, pairs phenomenally well with some Flor de Caña rum from experience, I can tell you this. Right away you get some initial cocoa notes to it. You also will get some black pepper um, through the retro hill right away. And it kind of lingers a longer finish on this one. You taste that kind of a leathery element. But a very toothy wrapper, has a nice open draw. Um, no complaints for me on this one. So I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and relax here in my hammock and check back in with you shortly. So coming into the last little bit here, um, I didn't break this one into first, second, and third, um, partly because it's kind of drawn into my atmosphere and partly because there wasn't a ton of different transitions to report. It did have a few. Uh, started out with um, some of those cocoa notes and slightly earthy. The black pepper definitely picked up, um, especially around the second half. And that black pepper is really just kind of um, winning as far as the flavor profiles that are coming through. Definitely more of an earthy cigar. Um, still having a slight nuttiness that's come through, but really more so on just the first half. Second half, again, predominantly black pepper. Um, just a nice, relaxing cigar. I'm feeling very mellow right now. It, it's got a medium to full um, strength on this one. So definitely something that you want to have. Um, you can just relax and you know that's what you should be doing anyways if you're smoking is relaxing so it's a good fit especially again if you pair this with some of that Flor de Caña rum um, it's just a nice compliment the notes from the rum you know adding a little bit of more of a vanilla kind of a sweetness it pairs phenomenally with the notes the earthy notes from this and um, just that pepper again is just a nice nice compliment so well done, Juani, on the blending. I've enjoyed this one, and um, I know my group, we've all been smoking these and have all been in favor of um, you know, grabbing this, this new Havana blend. So 
good work. And if you haven't tried it yet, pick one up. Um, it's a great cigar to enjoy pretty much any time of the day. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you next year out here in beautiful Nicaragua with us.